Hi, this is Chris with Haven Home Lighting. Today we're going to be installing our Q-Series full color lighting at the bar over here to the right and our full color strip lighting on the wall behind me. We'll guide you in the process as we go and show you how we do it. For some nice spot accent lighting, we're going to install our under counter Q-Series full color lighting. And we've got our spots marked where we're going to install the lights. Uh, we'll run the wire through and hook it up to the controller. Right, we've got our under counter lighting. In this installation, we're installing it with the bracket. And in this case, we're going to grout it in under the countertop here. So we've got our marking on where the center should be of the light. We're going to slide it in under the counter. Secure it up with double sided tape and that's just to temporarily hold it until we can put some grouting in under the counter and we'll be all set. There are two holes in the mounting plate and those are to secure the wire down so it's hidden out of view when you mount it. Um, use a wire tie, loop it through the two holes, secure the wire and you'll be ready to go. So we've run all the wires from the counter lights back to our Q-Series controller and wired it up. Uh, these lights are all going on light zone A and that way we can add uh, potentially later lights on the inside of the bar to light zone B and have uh, two switches for two different independent controls. Uh, we've got it all wired up. All we have to do now is mount it uh, to the back of the box here and we'll be all set. Now you want to make sure anytime you mount the controller that it's not in an all-metal box. Um, this does use uh, radio frequency to talk to the controller and an all-metal enclosure will cause it problems. If you do have to for some reason mount it in an all-metal enclosure uh, you can get the extension wire for the antenna and mount the antenna outside the enclosure. So that wraps up the installation on the bar. Next, we'll head over and do the capstone strip lighting. So we've installed our LED aluminum extrusion housing uh, that will house our LED strips to hide the, the strips so we just see the ambient light. Uh, we've painted them to match the capstone so it looks nice and all hidden. So because we have so many um, feet of LED lighting we're using, uh, Per the specification, we're going to use uh, two runs of our 14 gauge uh, floor conductor wire and we'll hide it underneath the, the capstone as we go along. Now if this was a new installation, we'd have run it inside the wall, but being that this is a retrofit, we're going to hide it as best we can. This is on the outside, uh, the other side of the wall opposite of the LED lights and uh, we'll keep it nice and clean. So we're ready to adhere the strips to the aluminum extrusion. The first thing we're going to do is take our rubbing alcohol and pour it on a rag and just clean the extrusion. Um, again, we have painted the extrusions to match and now uh, we're just going to wipe them down, clean it before I stick the strip on. So we'll let that dry for about 30, 60 seconds and then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, take the protection off the tape and adhere the strip. One of the nice things about our strips is that they have this nice protective plastic piece over where the uh, wires are soldered. It just keeps the uh, most vulnerable part of the strip protected. So we've run the wire in from outside, mounted the controller on the wall, wired it all up, and uh, we're ready to go. We've installed these three uh, capstone Q-series light to give this wall some nice accent, and we just want to show you how we did it. The first thing we did was uh, we marked all of our position of the lights, uh, centered them all up, and drilled a hole right under the capstone and the grout through the wall for our wire. 
We used 3M outdoor tape to secure the light to the wall, and we did this in this installation because the light is so close to the edge of the capstone, we didn't want to drill into the capstone and, and risk uh, shattering a piece off. So we chose for the tape option. Uh, 3M makes some really good tape and it'll hold quite well. So for the three capstone lights that we have on the front of this wall, we've mounted our controller here with the other pool equipment uh, in a waterproof box and we're all ready to go. So we're ready to mount the wall switches. There are three switches that we're going to install. One controls the bar, one controls the under capstone accent lighting around the driveway, and another controls the capstone uh, lighting out by the pool. And uh, the way you have a couple options to mount, uh, you can screw the wall plates into the wall or into the, into the spot you're going to put them or you can just simply use uh, two-sided tape. And that's what we've chosen to do here. So to get the alignment, we've gone ahead and mounted the uh, wall switches to a standard uh, three-panel plate, and we'll stick them on the wall. So we're ready to install our second set of light switches, uh, controlling the three controllers uh, outside and we're going to mount it using double-sided tape. You could also screw it into the wall if you want to. We've mounted it on our uh, three-gang plate and we're going to stick it to the wall. So we want to give you a quick idea on how far uh, the wall switches work. Um, in this case, we've got it mounted on the inside of this wall on, on the wall and uh, there's three controllers but the farthest one is on the, mounted on the far side of the garage and all the doors are closed and the switch works like a charm. So that completes our install. We've got our Q-Series accent strip lighting all around the driveway. We've got our Q-Series capstone and under counter lighting under the capstones and the bar. And we've got three controllers running the whole system with two wall switches paired to each. Thanks for watching.